Okay, here's another example using the creator operator of uh, Cheetah. I'm going to make a, a sweep operator uh, that uh, build a spring by sweeping a um, circle spline along a helix spline. So let's add those two splines. Circle and a helix. And I'm going to drag and drop those into the sweep operator. And you can see the effect. Now the circle is a little large, but the great thing about having a purely parameterized bit of geometry is that I can just go into the circle uh, properties or parameters and just change them as I wish. So at 1 and point 1, and you can see that I've got the makings of a spring. Similarly, on the helix properties or helix parameters, I think I'd like a bit more of a spring. So let's uh, let's increase the angle end by a full revolution. Uh, there we go. And that's the spring I'd like to animate. And I can animate this simply by changing the height parameter. That's all there is to it. So let's go down to the timeline. Um, I think I'll make this take just two seconds again. Uh, I need to make sure my uh, P is uh, highlighted to make sure that all the parameters, as well as just the translation, scale, and rotation, are going to be recorded. In fact, I'm not going to make any changes to the uh, translation, scale, and rotation. Uh, it's just going to be the height parameter, but I do need that P to be highlighted to do that. So frame zero is just recording it as it is. And let's say one second into the uh, animation, I change the height to, let's say, 0.6. And I record that keyframe. And then I go to the end of the animation and put it back to what it was. And I'll record that one. So here's my animation of a spring. But very, very simple in Cheetah. Now I'd like to get that into Unity. Uh, let me just save this uh, before I do that. Let's call it a spring. I'd like to get that into Unity, and, and the way to do it is to export the animation to MDD format uh, as the intermediate step. Uh, so let's do that. I, I need to uh, get my uh, MDD exporter tool by going to the script menu, tool script, MDD exporter. And you can see in this case that uh, by default the bake modifier checkbox is on, but I don't have any modifiers here. These are just parameters into the sweep creator object, so I can actually switch that one off. Uh, similarly, I don't have a transform that I'm moving around here. I'm not translating it or rotating it, so there's no transform to, to animate. Uh, I'll change the end time to two seconds, but that's all I need. Uh, if I try and export this now, it'll give me an error because I haven't actually selected the sweep operator itself. I've selected the helix in this case. So let me go to the sweep operator. And before I export, let's just have a look at that geometry. You can see if I zoom in, there's really quite a lot of geometry there. I don't really need all that. But again, the, the great thing about doing this way is that I can just go back into model line parameters, the circle in this case, and change the approximation angle. Let's change that to 30. It gives me a crude circle, but that's good enough for the purposes of this animation. Okay, so I'll highlight my sweep object now. You can see there's far less geometry, and I'll export that. And it will export to the same name as the just file, but .mdd on the uh, extension. And now let's get that into Unity. I'll go to my Unity project and drag in my data. Remember that the the um, MDD exporter also exports an OBJ file as well as the MDD data, and that's what we need in this case in the project pane, not the uh, not the just file. So the prefab object I can now drag in to instantiate. And I can move this uh, this object around, in fact, before I uh, apply the MDD data to it. Um, I can also rescale it, incidentally. Uh, what we're going to apply is is, uh, is vertex displacement or point displacement data. And it doesn't really matter about the size of the mesh. I can still uh, apply that uh, file to this mesh. How do I do that? Well, I need to add the component to, uh, to the spring object. Uh, the relevant component, as we did last time, is the point cache uh, component from the Megafires package. And if I look over in the inspector here, under the point cache uh, script section, I press the important MDD button to, to bring in the, the data that I exported from Cheetah. So there it is, spring MDD. Let's open that. Let's take a couple of minutes, so I'll just pause the video. Okay, we're nearly done. And there we are. Uh, how do we see that animation? Well, again, um, in the uh, point cache script parameters, I need to change the loop time to the actual length of the animation, which was two seconds, and just click on the animation.
automated chatbots. Now when I press play, we have a nice animated spring within Unity.